Hello everyone, um, it's Ella again and I'm back with another word. Um, this is the second one I'm recording today and um, yeah, this this message came to me through a scripture, okay, and it's also going to be a lyrical message, but this is more of a prophetic encouragement from the Lord um, to you um, as his as his daughter or son and also um it's a it's a prophetic encouragement that the lord wishes to convey from your kingdom spouse so you know as always um not every prophetic word is for you um so with each one that you hear um even if it resonates with your spirit, you know, and it's confirmation, but you still need to do your due diligence and take it back to the Lord in prayer so that he can further confirm whether it is for you and also so that he can give you more clarity, more insight and, um, and more knowledge. Okay. So yeah, um, this word is for people who, may not know who their spouses are yet and it's also for those that do know their spouses okay so the scripture that the lord um gave me for this uh, prophetic encouragement is proverbs chapter 31 um verse 10 to 31 okay um but I'm just going to read chapter I mean verse 10 sorry um because that's the initial uh what can we say the initial catalyst of how god brought this about and um yeah we're gonna expound more on it okay but yeah you guys can read proverbs chapter 31 verse 10 to 31 um we all know you know that's the scripture about the wife of noble character and um king solomon's mom you know she's advising her son, you know, how to, how to know whether a woman is a, is a woman of noble character. Okay. So, um, yeah, Proverbs chapter 31 verse 10 says a wife of noble character who can find she is worth far more than rubies. Okay. Um, so yeah, like I said, this, this prophetic message is going to be, um, at first, an encouragement, you know, from the Lord to you, okay, and yeah, this word is for both men and women, okay, um, it's gender neutral, although the song that the Lord gave me is for women, but the message applies to both, um, men and women, okay, so the Lord says, um, that you've been surrendered to his will, um, you've done all of your healing, you know, your inner work, and you've abandoned the meaningless things of this world, and you've really taken time to to separate yourself from the world, okay? We know that we live in the world, but we are not of the world, okay? So you've been devoted only to the Lord, and you've been really obedient, even when it was looking crazy to everyone around you. Um, you've been sacrificing so much just to just to be in pursuit of of righteousness and live living that holy lifestyle that the Lord has called you to live. Okay, so yeah, the Lord says that you've been working extremely hard at the things that He has assigned to you, and He sees all of your hard work. Okay, <clears throat> um, when excuse me, uh, when it felt like a lost cause. And when you were met with a mountain of opposition, um, the times when you were depleted of energy and even resources, like when you were feeling like you were in darkness and depression, um, it felt like the Lord had forsaken you at times. And yeah, just when you 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 had been um, attacked by Satan, you know, and these witchcraft attacks, the Lord acknowledges that you still kept going, like you were still pushing and working hard for him, okay, you challenged yourself, and you overcame so much, and throughout this whole process, you know, God has been with you, Um, you probably felt like the Lord wasn't hearing your prayers, Um, you felt like all of your efforts were in vain, 
but the truth is that the Lord was with you, okay, and he sees that now you've come out stronger, you know, and you are victorious through him, all right, um, you sowed in tears, but now you are in the season of, of reaping joy, <laughs> um, there's a psalm about that, um, but I'll include it in the description box, okay, and God, God is, is, he's just very proud of you, okay, and he sees all of your hard work, everything that you went through, and he wants you to pat yourself on the back, okay, <laughs> um, I know when we are in this journey, uh, we don't hear it enough, you know, we don't hear, you're doing a good job, I'm so proud of you, so the Lord wants to tell you that he is so, so, so proud of you, and you know, he's cheersing to you. I, I can see his hand lifting up a, a, a goblet, a golden goblet with the finest jewels, you know, and he's saying cheers, you know, he is saying congratulations. He's saying, I'm so proud of you and I'm so pleased with you. Okay. And um, yeah, the Lord wants you to celebrate, you know, he's celebrating you, you know, just all of your accomplishments, all of the the mountains that you had to climb and the giants that you had to slay, you know, the, the tears, the, the sleepless nights, all of that pain and, and, and difficulty that you faced, the Lord is celebrating you and it's time for you to celebrate as well. Okay. You have, you've made it. Okay. okay. The Lord is, is, he's just, oh, he's just so proud of you. Like I can feel his joy and happiness. Oh, yeah, he's proud of you. Okay. So, um, yeah, just give thanks to the Lord, you know, take a minute to, or well, not a minute, however long the Lord leads you to, but take some time to, to give thanks to him, you know, even if you, you haven't reached your breakthrough yet. Um, but the Lord has been telling you that it's close by and maybe things aren't looking the way that they should be. <laughs> But the Lord wants you to take time to give thanks to him. It's so important to to actually worship worship him while we are waiting for our breakthroughs. OK, and it's not just kingdom marriage. You know, if you are waiting on God for financial breakthrough, for a new car, you know, for new housing or resources to start that kingdom business, you know, Give thanks to God, praise him, worship him while you are still waiting, because through that, you know, it'll move the heart of God. I'm not saying that he's going to start, you know, moving things faster for you, but it's going to move the heart of God and he's going to see that you are really, um, you're truly intentional about, excuse me, praising him through the wait and through the storm. And it's going to put the devil to shame, you know, because the devil is kind of banking on all of us to to give up on the journey. Um, the devil is banking on us to lose our devotion to God. OK, so through us worshiping him and giving him thanks and praising him, even in the wait, you know, it puts the enemy to shame. OK, um, so, yeah, the second part of this word is. Now, you know, the encouragement from your kingdom spouse. <laughs> All right. Um, and the song that the Lord gave me, ugh, this is such a cute song, you guys. Um, it's Miss Independent by Neo. And I know like back in my teen days, I was like such a huge fan of Neo and his music. So I never like thought that one day the Lord would use Neo's music to encourage people, you know, like, uh, who would have thought? But nonetheless, um, yeah, this is the song that the Lord gave me. So let's get into the lyrical, okay? So the first verse, okay, he says, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then he says, ooh, it's something about, just something about the way she moves. I can't figure it out. It's something about her. Ooh, there's something about the kind of woman that want you but don't need you. Hey, I can't figure it out. It's something about her. Okay. So, um, 
yeah, your spouse has been watching you, okay, um, watching you from afar, even if you don't know who they are, they could be in your vicinity, um, close by, or even on, you know, social media, maybe you've got a platform where you are, you know, just sharing your life and sharing your journey with the Lord and, and sharing what the Lord has been doing with you and through you okay so they have been watching you all right you have been bossing up you've been leveling up you've been elevating and you've just been coming up higher in the spirit you know the lord has led you to really um develop a closer and deeper relationship with him and you've been sharing that with the world you know and your kingdom spouse is admiring you okay they're they're celebrating you okay um and yeah you you've perplexed your kingdom spouse <laughs> um they thought you were a certain type of person they they had preconceived ideas and some assumptions about the person that you are but unintentionally you have just been showing a different facet of yourself okay and the lord is showing me a diamond all right um yeah a cut diamond so we know that a diamond is not just a circular object it's specifically cut and shaped a certain way and it has many different sides to it so your kingdom spouse sees you as a diamond yes you know beautiful sparkly clear pristine diamond but you have a lot of sides to you okay each each different side shows a different reflection of your personality your character and who you are in Christ okay um and yeah you you've been living that independent life <laughs> where you're doing um most things by yourself and most of the responsibilities have have been on your shoulders so this isn't even, um, it's, yeah, the song is not necessarily about, like, how you are in a professional sense, but even if you are a, a stay-at-home mom, you know, or you've been going in, going to the gym and, you know, putting in the work, or just even doing the simple projects and hobbies that the Lord has told you to do, or you could be, in full-time ministry or part-time ministry just doing your god-given assignments okay your kingdom spouse sees how much you've been doing and they see all of your effort and it just makes them so happy and proud and it it inspires them to to honestly do better all right they your kingdom spouse can't figure out exactly what it is about you that has drawn them to you but you just have that thing you know um you have that indescribable je ne sais quoi um yeah they don't know what it is exactly but your indescribable personality and just the vibe that you have around you what you carry um as much as it confuses them it it amazes them and they honestly love it okay Okay, so now we're going to go into the pre-chorus and it says, Because she walked like a boss, talked like a boss, manicured nails to set the pedicure off. She's fly effortlessly. She moved like a boss, do what a boss do. She got me thinking about getting involved. That's the kind of girl I need. Okay, so with this part, the Lord wants to convey that your kingdom spouse thinks you have a, excuse me, a regal air about you. And you're the type of person that they see as, um, yeah, you, you hold yourself to a high standard no matter what your circumstances are. And that's because um, the Lord has called you higher and you're just the the daughter or the son, if you're a man listening to this, you're the son of the king, you know. Um, yeah, your kingdom spouse can see that you just, you exude grace. You, you have that royal thing about you, okay. And you've been intentional about leveling up and keeping the standards of God and, you know, his kingdom. And, um... Maybe 
you're at a place where you were struggling financially and you just had so many challenges, you know, but you always maintain your appearance by, you know, getting your hair done and your nails done. Um, guys, you, 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 you take, um, constant trips to the barber shop, you know, getting that trim, that fade, um, you know, putting in work at the gym, bulking up and ladies, maybe you're also, putting in work at the gym, losing weight, toning up your body in preparation um, for your kingdom marriage and also just for yourself, you know, to to have that healthy lifestyle, okay? And some of you have been transforming your wardrobe, you know, um, the Lord maybe has instructed you to, to switch up your wardrobe a little bit, you know, not for necessarily your kingdom spouse, but you know, just to treat yourself and to, to experiment, you know, um, the Lord has been calling some of us to have a more modest appearance and yeah, you've, you've been following the Lord's instruction by, um, maybe buying at least one, one new clothing item a month. Okay. And, um, yeah, even just simple things like buying your kids, you know, new clothes and toys, um, making sure that your family has a roof over their head, that your family is fed, um, loved and well cared for. Okay. Um, yeah, you're that type of person. You just make sure that, you know, you're standing on business and doing what you need to do. Okay. And this journey has been so hard and so strenuous for you, but, you just make it look really easy and effortless. Like you, only you and God know what you have been through. Okay. But you just, you, people can't tell by looking at you that you have been through so much struggle, um, so much hardship and so many challenges. Okay. So yeah, guys, even simple things like that are being noticed by your kingdom spouse and you've just been carrying yourself like a boss okay and it's it's motivating your your spouse to come and get involved okay they want to claim you because they see what a prized possession you are and you're the exact woman or man that they need and and that's why God has um specifically ordained you guys to be together okay so Now we're going to go into the chorus. Um, Yeah, it says she got her own thing. That's why I love her. Miss Independent, won't you come and spend a little time? She got her own thing. That's why I love her. Miss Independent, ooh, the way we shine. Miss Independent, yeah. So um, with this part, you know, your kingdom spouse, they see that you've got your own physical possessions you know whether it's the little things or the big things you know don't look down on yourself if you don't have your own house yet or if you don't have your own car yet you know um it could be little things like <clears throat> excuse me just having you know something to call your own whether it's it's big or small no matter how small it is but yeah, your your kingdom spouse knows that you are trying and you're working very hard and they're proud of you, okay? Um, they see you developing your relationship with God, you know, sharing the gospel, doing ministry, um, helping your community, helping your family, and just being a pillar for those around you, okay? And you're you're living in your Christ-like identity and purpose. And that's also one of the reasons that they just love you, okay? You you kept pushing forward in your journey with Jesus Christ without them, you know. Um, and you've been doing it by yourself and they are so proud, you know. It just shows that you have such great character, and that you don't necessarily need your kingdom spouse. You just, you want them, but you don't need them. And God is your only, the only person that you need. And your kingdom spouse really loves that about you, okay? And they they desire that 
you know sometimes you you should take a break you know they want they want you to take a break and spend some time with them even though some of you are in separation at the moment but they desire to spend time with you okay um and yeah it's it's for some it's not the appointed time just yet you know god is working behind the scenes and um yeah working things out with the both of you but at the appointed time you guys will be reunited reconciled and you'll be able to spend time together Okay, so while you're still living in the Lord's purpose and while um, while the Lord is still working out how you guys are going to come together, um, he wants you to remain in him, okay? The Lord wants you to, to stay in his presence and listen to his instructions. So if the Lord has told you, like, don't reach out just yet or let your kingdom spouse reach out to you, or just stay with me a little bit longer, you know, heed those instructions and be obedient to the Lord. Um, only God knows the reason why you guys are not together just yet, but just know that at the appointed time, the Lord will make it happen, okay, and your kingdom spouse also knows this, okay, and they know that when you guys do come together together, you guys are going to shine, okay? Um, the Lord is putting you guys together so that you will be a witness, you know, to the to the world of how good God is and that God is still in the in the business of putting together love stories and you guys are going to do such amazing um exploits and great work for the Lord, okay? And yeah, God can't wait for that to happen and your kingdom spouse cannot wait for that to happen, okay? And they're excited about what the Lord is doing through through both of you. Okay, so now let's go to the second verse and it says, um, oh, there's something about the kind of woman that can do it for herself. I look at her and it makes me proud. There's something about her. There's something oh so sexy about the kind of woman that don't even need my help. She says she got it. She got it, no doubt. There's something about her. Okay. Um. So here the Lord wants to convey that your spouse knows that you are independent. And perhaps you're the type of person that has an ex accepted help or assistance easily in the past you know you're that person that's always making a plan and you're always hustling to to make ends meet and you've been self-sufficient almost to a fault you know um you're that woman that says um I don't need no man I can I can make it happen by myself you know <laughs> um and if you're a man listening to this you could just be that guy that's always like nah don't worry I got it I'll figure it out <laughs> so yeah you don't um you haven't been able to accept help graciously in the past, but now the Lord has been assisting you. Um, he's been helping you. He's been sending you divine helpers um, to assist you in your life. And yeah, the Lord is also through this preparation process and the pruning and cleansing. The Lord is teaching you that hey, it's okay to accept help, you know, people, I've placed people in your life that want to assist you, and they're not necessarily expecting anything in return, these are people that I've, I've put in your life to, to help make the load easier, and they love you, you know, they're doing this because they love me, and they love you, so God is just teaching you um, in this time that, that it's okay to accept help, you know, so um, even in that, you know, you still like to handle your business by yourself, but for some reason, your kingdom spouse finds this attractive, okay, and for some, your kingdom spouse may even be, um, what's the word, like aroused, like they find this very sexy, um, and it makes them feel some type of way, you know, in their heart and 
in their nether regions, okay? <laughs> and it's not that your kingdom spouse does not want to help you more. And it's not that your kingdom spouse likes to see you suffer or struggle. But they love that this is part of your character. Um, they see you as someone that is strong, um, courageous, very determined, steadfast, um, you're perseverant and you you are victorious in everything that you that you do and they just find this so so attractive okay <clears throat> and this part of your character is what God is highlighting to your kingdom spouse and now um, God is going to be releasing them very soon to come and be your help me to come and be your protection, your provider, your leader, and everything else that you need, okay? So I think, you know, let's let's just thank God for that, you know, even though we don't see the 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 manifestation of his promises just yet. But let's give thanks in the meantime <clears throat> and worship him while we wait, okay? And the Lord um gave me a scripture for this part. It says um, now it's Ruth chapter three, verse 11, sorry. And it says, now daughter, don't be afraid. I will do all for you that you ask. All the people of my town know that you are a woman of noble character. Okay. So the Lord is once again, emphasizing and not just the women, also the men, you know, you're a person of noble character. <clears throat> so, um, the Lord will do everything that you ask if it's in his will, of course, and your kingdom spouse is also going to just be wooed and, and so enamored by your character that they will, they will do what you ask, you know, if it's within their means, they will do it for you. Okay. Uh, excuse me. So now we're going to go to um, the pre-chorus again, um, and it says, because she worked like a boss, play like a boss, car and a crib she bought to pay them both off, and her bills are paid on time. She made for a boss, only a boss. Anything less, she telling them to get lost. <laughs> that's the girl that's on my mind. <laughs> okay, so, um, with this part, you know, the Lord is wanting to convey that your kingdom spouse acknowledges that you're a high value individual. Um, and this is the identity and character that the Lord has been building you up to be, you know, this has always been your, your destiny, your, it's been part of your purpose. Okay. And you are always high value in, I guess, in spirit and in character, but now your high value is is made evident in your appearance you know and, and just the physical things that you do um in your achievements your your acquisitions and and even the resources that god has blessed you with okay and as we know high value people they attract other high value people okay so your kingdom spouse knows this and maybe some of your your kingdom spouses have seen comments under your your social media posts or um maybe your business page you know they've seen people reacting to the things that you put out there you know um as you promote your work promote your your lifestyle and promoting Jesus and other people are admiring you and admiring the work that you do. Okay. And, um, I'm just, the Lord is showing me heart eye emojis. So maybe some of you have been posting things and other dudes or other ladies have been leaving heart eye emojis, you know, to say that, oh, they're in love with what you're doing, or they're just enamored by you. And, your kingdom spouse feels a type of way about this, okay? Um, but yeah, even outside of this, the Lord has just been showing your kingdom spouse that you've got 
a fair amount of suitors, you know. Um, we know that we were hidden for a season, okay? And the Lord was hiding us, you know, to do the inner work so that he could heal us, so that he could restore us and so that we could regain our strength in him. Um, the Lord has just been doing a great work in us. And now that we are ready for these kingdom marriages to enter into our unions, now the Lord has been putting us um, out there, you know. Um, I think there's a scripture that talks about all of creation is waiting for the sons and daughters of God to be revealed, okay? And that's what the Lord is doing right now. He's revealing us to the world. He's showing the world that these are my sons and daughters, okay? And the spotlight is on you, okay? Um, so yeah, with all of your your suitors, you know, the Lord has, has brought you into a kind of... Uh, what do, what do I call it? Like, yeah, your bachelorette era. Like, I don't know if you guys watch the shows like The Bachelor and The Bachelorette. But yeah, there's usually like one bachelor or one bachelorette and they have like 20 other <laughs> potential suitors and the aim is to find love. And at the end of the season, uh, the bachelorette will pick the one that he that she loves and yeah they'll make plans to get married so you are in your bachelorette era fellas you're in your bachelor era like you may have noticed people of the opposite sex just popping up you know sliding in your dms asking for for your number or just approaching you like in a in an underhanded type of way so some of them maybe they want to collaborate with you on um <clears throat> with business and entrepreneurship or other projects that you've been doing but the real reason that they are there is so that they can get close to you okay so that's what's happening with some of you guys and your kingdom spouse is aware of this okay because they know you are high value they know that you are a rare jewel um and that you are you're elevated now so obviously you're going to attract other people and um yeah they're hoping that you're kind of telling these other these other dudes and these other ladies to step side okay they they um are re they are reiterating sorry that you are the one that they want and they want to come claim you. Okay, and the Lord gave me um, another scripture. It's also in Ruth. It's Ruth chapter 3 verse 11 and it says, The Lord bless you, daughter. He replied, This kindness is greater than that which you showed earlier. You have not run after the younger men, whether rich or poor. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, yeah, this is just once again reiterating that you've been loyal, okay, you've been loyal to God, um, you haven't gone around dating other people and maybe you tried uh, when you were feeling really weary and just sick of this journey, maybe you did try to like start seeing other people but it didn't work out and <clears throat> you just, you were just um preferring to actually just stay close to the lord and stay loyal to the lord and um you were being obedient to the lord so if the lord told you that this is your kingdom spouse for some of you um the thought of starting to see other people didn't even cross your mind you you were really steadfast in your belief in the promise okay so um yeah, this, this scripture is reiterating that the Lord sees how loyal, how kind and obedient you have been to, to him. And you could have literally gone for any other person, you know, you could have chosen to, to, to forego or forfeit 
this promise and let go of the journey to kind of do your own thing but you you were really um ten toes down for the lord and ten toes down for your kingdom spouse okay um yeah there were men um that were maybe richer or more handsome or they were older and some maybe were younger you know they had a whole lot of things to offer but you didn't want to get involved in any counterfeit connections <clears throat> you were just um yeah you just wanted to 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 remain true to God and to to stand in faith and stand on the promises that the Lord made so yeah that's just the Lord saying that he's going to bless you for this okay and um yeah so the song just goes on to to say um okay it goes back into the chorus and then the bridge says her favorite thing to say is don't worry I got it and everything she got, best believe she bought it. Mm, she gonna steal my heart, ain't no doubt about it. Girl, you're everything I need. Said you're everything I need. Okay, so that's just, you know, the Lord conveying that your kingdom spouse, once again, they they know that you're independent and you, you've got your own thing going on. You always you know, you, you always like to say, I got it. Like I, I can handle this, you know? Um, and yeah, just your whole vibe, your independent spirit, your strong, courageous, um, perseverant character is really stealing their heart. Like you've really blown your kingdom spouse away and you've blown God away. Okay. As I said in the beginning, God is super proud of you and yeah, your kingdom spouse also sees you. They acknowledge your hard work. And um, when you guys come into union or reconciliation, they are going to make this known to you. The Lord wants you to know that your kingdom spouse is going to acknowledge what, what a boss you are and just how amazing you are and that they admire and love you so much. Okay, so... Yeah, guys, um, the song just goes on to the chorus once again. Um, I'm not going to read that. But yeah, um, this is pretty much the word for today. Um, yeah, and I just hope that it encourages you, you know. Um, pat yourself on the back for all the hard work that you've done. Um, please celebrate, you know, thank the Lord, worship him, praise him, give him all the honor, all the praise, because without God, none of this would be possible. Um, the Lord was the one who was sustaining you. The Lord who was the one who sent people to keep encouraging you. The Lord was the one who, who kept on replenishing your energy and your faith you know so please take time to just just say thank you thank you lord for for all that you've done thank you for carrying me through my challenges and thank you that you've you've built up my character you know i've developed a tough skin um i've learned new skills new hobbies and i'm getting better at what i do i'm getting better at just being a person in your kingdom so thank you so much lord okay so yeah pat yourself on the back guys thank the lord and um yeah celebrate <laughs> celebrate i don't know how you guys like to celebrate you know maybe you you would want to take yourself out for lunch you know or treat yourself to a spa date uh, like a solo spa date um, and that could also be something that the Lord is unctioning you to do for your Esther preparation, okay? Um, so, yeah, seek the Lord about what to do um, to, to, you know, to treat yourself. Because the Lord does want you to treat yourself. And, um, yeah, he's just so proud of you and your kingdom spouse is really, really, really proud of you. And they are falling head over heels for you just... And it's not because of anything you did intentionally. Like you've just been doing your own thing, minding your own business, um, pursuing God. But 
this has just made them fall so deeply in love with you so yeah guys i hope that this king this message sorry encouraged you and um yeah keep on doing the good work um and keep on believing guys these these um these unions are coming soon okay and keep trusting the lord he will never fail you he will never forsake you um sometimes it feels like he does but he's always right there you know um as long as you keep on being obedient and having faith and having um like just shaking away the doubt you know the lord is going to come through for you all right so yeah i hope that this word encouraged you i hope that it blessed you and i'll be seeing you guys again in the next video and i hope you have an absolutely beautiful day i love you guys talk soon bye bye